All right, so I just had a really great hike down. Well, great as a stretch. There will be a video about the way down, chasing that, uh, chasing that bobcat and his tracks down here. Anywho, I am at the bottom. I'm about to my, make my way up. You may have heard the expression before. What goes up must come down. Well, when you're a hiker, sorry for the wind, by the way. I hope that's not ruining my audio completely. What goes down as a hiker must go back up. So right now I'm going to start my ascent back up this. Now to show you where I came down is literally that little nook comes up, goes, I went to the top of that right there and I came along that way. So that is not the way I'm going to go back up. There is at least a small game trail right here that I'm hoping continues up along this spine. It looks a little more gradual, so we will see. Um, anywho, while I do this hike up, I figured it would be a good chance to talk about one of the pieces of gear that I always hike with, but have not mentioned yet. Um, that is, let me see if I can show you, my Salomon Speed Cross 5s. Um, now, I'll get some shots to show in a minute of kind of closer to the ground how I'm hiking with these. But a little bit of the philosophy behind why I hike in trail running shoes and not hiking boots. Um, I grew up hiking in hiking boots. That's what my dad got me to hike in when I was a boy. And that's what I hiked in until I was a teenager. And then something happened when I was like 18-ish. Um, and I went a couple times hiking on some pretty simple, fairly easy hikes with some friends. And, uh, oh, this is tough. And I wore just like, that was a tick, gross. Um, I wore just some old like cross training shoes that were the ones I had played volleyball in and had since gotten new ones. So I wasn't worried about them getting ruined or anything like that. And uh, I found that when I was hiking in those, it was way, way, way more comfortable for me. Well, as a terrifying spider with an egg pouch. Gross, it's got bees on there too. All right, um, it was way more comfortable for me to hike in lightweight, kind of like running focus shoes compared to heavy, rigid boots. Now part of that is probably largely because of my environment here in Southern California. It's a different terrain than a lot of other places. So if you live somewhere else, this may not apply to you as much, but for me, I find that I prefer to be agile than be weighed down, even by sacrificing some of that rigidity. So then, after years of just hiking in Nikes or Asics or whatever my oldest pair of like running or court shoes were, I uh, finally was given, luckily, a pair of trail running shoes. The first pair I had were some Ultras. They were great. Wore them for a couple of years, put a lot of miles in them, and they were fantastic. It was all the benefits of having a lightweight, like, court shoe, but with a sole that was meant to go on rock and dirt and had real traction. So I did a lot of research for a long time, and ultimately, eventually, I landed on these Salomon Speedcross shoes. Now, these shoes have been a game changer for me. I liked my, I think they were called Ultras, I liked those shoes. Like I said, they were a big step up. But these Salomons are just, they've been perfect for me. I've had these, let's see, it's been about six months now. And I've definitely put at least 100 miles into them. Probably more, probably a lot more, but I'll be conservative. I'll say 100 miles of hiking in these shoes. And with all of that distance, they have been phenomenal. I didn't even really find that I had to 
like super break them in either, which was great. They, uh, they didn't give me blisters right off the bat or anything like that. They were just awesome right out of the box. And uh, they've held up incredibly well. They get dirty, but they take an absolute beating. And uh, they are the perfect amount of rigidity while still being really lightweight and just having a perfect, perfect sole on them. Um, so I'm gonna wrap in to a little bit of footage of me kind of down low so you can see them the way they look while I'm hiking in them. Hopefully that works. And then I'll do a wrap up when I get to the top. But yeah, these shoes are nuts. So more to come. All right, so it's currently 92 degrees. It's almost noon and uh, that was not a trail to get up. It just wasn't. I literally just bushwhacked my whole way up that face, just pushing through stuff. I had to cut a few sections. Oh my goodness. It's uh, it is way too hot right now. Oh, I definitely should have stopped and rested along the way, but the angle of that hill, I was just purely, purely in the sun the whole way. There's no shade and I don't like just sitting in the sun. Close this now, the air's getting cold. I think I said already it's been five, six months with them. Yeah, six months now. And I've got easily over a hundred miles, maybe more like 150 in these shoes. And they just keep taking everything. Um, they haven't gotten any less comfortable. If anything, they've only gotten more comfortable. The soles are holding up perfectly. Let me slip one off so I can show you. It's uh, it's just, they stay in great shape. All they get is dirty. <laughs> they haven't worn down at all. I, uh, I don't even have to wear funky socks with these. My favorite socks to wear with them are just my uh, literally stance classic socks, the, like lightly padded ones. Um, Say five on it, just a Salomon Contra grip. Anyway, that sole is money. Um, I think the focus of this trail running shoe, I know there's different like degrees of them and for different terrains and stuff. I want to say this one is like the preference is rock and uphill. Um, I remember when I was researching them, the angle of the sole can have a slightly different degree depending on what type of surface you plan on running on, whether it's a lot of uphill, a lot of downhill, whatever it may be. These were focused on uphill, which I like because I dig hill climbs. Um, not that one that I just did, but usually I love hill climbs. Um, it's just fun to push yourself and get your heart beaten and um, flatland isn't as fun to me and downhill hurts my knees. So um, yeah, these have just been incredible. Um, I'm gonna loop in in a minute, some footage of me walking in them so you can see them in action. But I gotta cool down for a second. Um, that was just way, way too intense. So I'm gonna crank this AC back up, give myself five, and then uh, I'll wrap up this video outside again. <laughs> All right, so first things first, I should probably show you how they go on. Uh, these have a really unique lace system and uh, they have a bunch of debris in them from the hiking I was just doing. Anyway, um, the way that these laces work, it's really nice. I totally dig them. So literally, I just kind of give the tongue a tug like that, and then you cinch like this, give it a pull, pull that cinch down, and then there's this little pouch you can tuck all of the lace into, and then you're good to go. These, uh. I was worried before I got these that these cinches wouldn't stay tight, that the ratchet or the latch thing would kind of come undone on its own. I have had zero loosening. And like I said, I've got miles in these. It's not like I've done one test hike and, uh, and that's been that. These have been through the ringer and uh, yeah, all of the seams and seals are holding really well. I've got like a few scuffs where I've really scratched them bad, but I've like kicked hard into sharp twigs and stomped through stuff. And these have held up really, really well. So let me uh, spin the camera, see if I can find a good way to show you me kind of moving around in them.
So these shoes are dope. I, uh, I really can't emphasize enough the difference that I made when I switched from hiking boots to trail running shoes. I guess there was an in-betweener there of where I was wearing like cross trainers, um, which was nice too, especially um, at that time I wasn't doing hikes as intense as I am now. And so it was usually pretty fine. But now with how much like really, I, I go up some pretty sketchy stuff where it would be unsafe for me to have inadequate footwear. Um, the amount of traction that these give me makes it just so much more comfortable to go up really steep stuff and um, loose terrain and to get over rock. And um, when I'm like climbing up a face, free climbing by myself, <laughs> it's better to have the right footwear. So um, I'm really glad that I have these Salomon. I think they are speed cross. I really should have known that before I did this video, but I wasn't thinking about it before I came out here. I just thought, man, I haven't, haven't talked about these at all. So yeah five out of five stars for sure for these shoes. Um, they just, they're breathable, they're light, they keep my feet relatively cool, they protect my feet from everything I've kicked through, stomped through, run into. Um, they're good for jumping in, landing in, they have good arch support, they're comfortable. Um, I Yeah, they, they're, in my opinion, the perfect shoe to hike in, especially for a day hike. And I have trail run in them as well, and they're built for that, so obviously they're great for it. Um, but I hike way more often than I trail run. Now the only situation that I could say I would want boots in is probably if I was going to be doing like a backpacking trip with a heavy pack on, I'd want that extra support, I'd want support around my ankles, that kind of thing. But when I'm just hiking with my day pack, um, it is more than adequate for me to have this amount of support on my feet. Um, and if anything, I think it's probably, I, I'm not a scientist, I don't specifically know, but I imagine it's better for my feet um, to have some flexibility and be letting my feet do the work instead of just relying on a totally rigid sole um, because this gives me a better workout and uh, I'm able to kind of articulate my toes a little better and I, I feel like I have better balance in them. And it's just, in my opinion, a, a much better way to hike um, for the types of hikes that I do at least. So there you have it. That'll be my review on the Salomon Speedcross 5s. Let's pray I'm right on that name. Um, anywho, they're great shoes. There you have it.